chapter 6 lines and angles we completed this topic parallel lines and transversal in this topic we learnt that if there are two lines and there is a line intersecting these two lines at different point then this line is called transversal by this transversal here we find that eight angles are formed these angles are named as corresponding angles alternate interior angles alternate exterior angles interior angles on the on the same side of the transversal so in last video in uh, we have completed that corresponding angles as i told you if there are two lines there is a transversal then angle formed such as 1 2 3 4 angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 angle 8 in this corresponding angles angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding same way angle 2 and 6 angle 4 and 8 angle 3 and 7 alternate interior angles as i told you in this alternate means different sides alternate interior angles uh, jaise yahan pe four angle left left side mein hai transversal ke then angle 6 is on right side so angle 4 and angle 6 are called alternate interior angles same way angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles angle 1 and angle 7 are alternate exterior angles same way angle 2 and angle 8 are alternate exterior angles now as i told you that interior angles on the same side of a transversal like interior means angle 4 and angle 5 on the same side of a transversal these angles are also known as consecutive angles allied angles or co-interior angles okay so we are moving for the next thing which is axiom 6.3 what is it if a transversal intersect two parallel lines then each pair of corresponding angles is equal look at this like in this diagram you are observing these two lines are parallel and there is a transversal then corresponding angles like angle 1 is equal to angle 5 angle 2 is equal to angle 6 angle 3 is equal to angle 7 angle 4 is equal to angle 8 corresponding angles are equal in measure if a transversal intersect two parallel lines okay moving for the next point that is axiom 6.4 what is it it is if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of corresponding angles is equal then the two lines are parallel to each other means it is just converse of axiom 6.3 in that axiom it was said that if transversal intersect two parallel lines thus then corresponding angles are equal but here if we observe that corresponding angles are equal only one pair of corresponding angles is equal then the lines are parallel to each other okay moving for the next thing that is theorem 6.2 it is 
if a transversal intersect two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal you have learnt all these things in class 7th also but here in this class you will learn how to prove them so here if you observe that if a transversal intersect two parallel lines let's see this this diagram ab and cd are two parallel lines and there is a transversal pq there is a transversal then what to prove alternate angles are equal to prove this theorem we will use axioms 6.3 and 6.4 how let's suppose this is angle 1 this is angle 2 as you know and there is one more angle that is angle 3 as you know angle 1 is equal to angle 3 vertically opposite angle axiom say same way angle 3 is equal to angle 2 corresponding angle axiom say so from first and second this is called first this is called second from first and second we observe that 1 is equal to 2 that means alternate interior angles are equal theorem 6.3 is converse of theorem 6.2 if a transversal intersect two lines such that a pair of alternate interior angles is equal then the two lines are parallel it is converse of theorem 6.2 देखिए 6.2 में बताया था कि लाइंस पैरेलल हैं तो अल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एंगल्स इक्वल होंगे कन्वर्स अगर इसको वाइस वर्सा करें तो इफ वी फाइंड समवेयर दैट वन पेयर ऑफ अल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एंगल्स इज इक्वल देन लाइंस आर पैरेलल इट इज वेरी सिंपल नेक्स्ट थ्योरम इज थ्योरम 6.4 इफ अ ट्रांसवर्सल intersect two parallel lines same thing then each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary okay uh, let me tell you how can we prove this so to prove this thing you will observe that there are two lines actually these lines are parallel to each other and there is a transversal as you know alternate angles are equal and you know this well that angle 2 plus 3 here you are observing that angle 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degree why 180 degree linear pair axiom linear pair axiom by linear pair axiom so if we replace angle 2 by 1 we get angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree so this way we say that if a transversal intersect two parallel lines then each pair of interior angles on the same side of a transversal is supplementary our next theorem is theorem 6.5 which is converse of theorem 6.4 in 6.4 it is said that if the lines are parallel then alternate uh, then interior on the same side of a transversal means consecutive an angles or we can say allied angles are supplementary but in this theorem 6.5 it is said that if a transversal intersect two lines it is not uh, so, uh, said that the lines are parallel or not it is said that that if a transversal intersect two lines such that a 
pair of angles a pair of angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary then the two lines are parallel it is just converse of this theorem 6.4 I hope these things are clear to each and every one. So our next point is lines parallel to the same line. If you can recall in chapter 5 you have learnt that things which are which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. So, same way in this chapter we say that if two lines are parallel to the same line then these lines are parallel to one another. For example, here you observe three lines line L, line M and line N are given. It is said that line angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So, line L is parallel to line M. Same way angle L is line L is parallel to line N because angle 1 is equal to angle 3. So, angle 2 is also equal to angle 3 that is why angle M sorry line M and line N are also equal. So, our theorem is theorem 6.6 .6. lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other are parallel to each other ok. अभी आपको इस क्लियर हो गया है जब एक ही लाइन दो अलग-अलग लाइन के पैरेलल है तो वो दोनों लाइंस भी आपस में पैरेलल होंगी सपोज करें लाइन ए लाइन बी लाइन सी इफ आई से दैट ए इज पैरेलल टू बी if I say line A is parallel to B, line hai, that is why I am taking A, B. Line A is parallel to line B and line A is parallel to line C as well. Then we say that line B and C are also parallel. Lines C, B and C are also parallel. So, in this video, I am not solving exercise questions, I am just explaining all the theorems related to the chapter. So, you will try all these questions at home and you can ask your queries to your subject teacher. Next point, our next subtopic is angle sum property of a triangle. As I told you, that you have learnt this property in class 7th that the sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 degree in class 6th also but here as a theorem you will learn how to prove this theorem. In previous classes you learnt it using paper cutting activity in which you took a triangle and cut into three pieces and then using these three pieces you at last you join these pieces like this and you find that the sum of all three pieces was like 180 degree. But in this class you will learn how to prove mathematically. So, Please have a look. Here we are given a triangle. If we draw a line parallel to line Q, line segment QR passing through P, 
then we observe that PR is a transversal then angle 3 will be equal to this so this angle will be angle 3 same way this 2 will be angle 2 and here you observe that 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 are on a line so the sum of all three angles is 180 degree that's why we call the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree look at this figure angle 4 is equal to angle 2 angle 3 is equal to angle 5 as you are aware 1 4 and 5 sum of these three angles is 180 degree because these are on a line but here we observe that angle 4 is equal to angle 5 sorry angle 4 is equal to angle 2 and angle 5 is equal to angle 3 so if we replace 4 by 2 and 5 by 3 we get this angle 2 plus angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree if we rearrange the order then we say that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree so moving for the next thing that is exterior angle property that is exterior angle property theorem 6.8 if you recall that in a triangle if we produce one side of the triangle then this exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles so it is said that in this theorem 6.8 if a side of a triangle is produced then the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles why is this so let me tell you how let one uh, angle 1 2 3 are three angles of the triangle abc and there is one exterior angle whose name is angle 4 here you observe that uh, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree because we know this uh, that the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree same way you observe that angle 1 and 4 angle 1 and 4 are linear pair of angles so sum of these two angles is also 180 degree if you uh, if you observe if you observe that angle 2 plus 3 is working as angle 4 so we say that if a side of a triangle is produced then the opposite exterior angle is equal to the sum of two interior angles this is angle c this is angle 4 so we can say angle 4 is equal to angle 2 plus 3 okay next exercise 6.3 after solving examples of this chapter you will try to solve all exercise questions and at last you will ask your queries to your maths teacher in class only or you can ask your queries to your elder brother sister or your friend or any other one who can teach you this topic thank you